It's time to talk about why I left Keller Williams. What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Will. I'm a real estate agent out here in Los Angeles, California. Today I'm going to be talking about why I left Keller Williams. Now before I start talking about why I left Keller Williams, I'm going to talk about some great things uh, that I took away from the company. Um, I left about three months ago and I've been with eXp Realty ever since. Basically what I really liked about Keller Williams is they offered a great learning program. So coming in as a brand new agent, uh, as a young agent, it was a great learning structure. I had a amazing, amazing mentor who really showed me the ropes, who helped me with every single transaction, was there by my side. Um, so that aspect was really good of it. And they even had some great classes. They had some great classes that I could take that really benefited me and I really enjoyed them. Now I'm gonna break everything down for you. Everything that I pretty much didn't like and that convinced me to move forward with my career onto another company. Um, when I first started at Keller Williams, I, before I even got into real estate, I told myself I was going to need a mentor. That was my biggest thing. I wanted a mentor. When I was interviewing all the brokerages, that's the first question I asked every single one of them. How and when will you be able to give me a mentor? So when I first started, it took them about a month and a half to two months to get me my mentor. And mind you that when I first interviewed with them, I... I was promised I would have a mentor immediately, they were gonna work on it, everything was gonna go good. So once I noticed that they weren't giving me a mentor for about a month or two, I actually started to have thoughts of leaving. Um, it was definitely a red flag for me, but then I was able to get my mentor, we were able to move on and everything was fine from there for the time being. Now, the biggest thing that really caused my decision in leaving was the commission structure and the commission breakdown. Now given every real estate company has different types of commission breakdowns and different negotiations, you this may vary for you, uh, but what I started with was a 70-30 split. Um, when I got my mentor, they bumped it up to an 80-20, but that is because my mentor was taking 25%, um, which don't get me wrong, a mentor is 100% needed. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I was very ready to have a mentor. I was ready to pay the price because I think having a mentor is priceless. It's for experience. It's for getting my head in the game and really knowing what I'm doing to better help serve my clients. So that was priceless to me. But for the sake of the video, let's start with the 70-30 split, okay? Now, after the 70-30, there's also a 6% royalty fee. So now you're down to 64.36. Now, after the 64.36, you also have a $350 transaction fee. And then I also pay $375 for my transaction coordinator, as well as a $175 ENO insurance fee. Now, this, this started to become a little bit too much to me. And like I mentioned, I'm not giving you the breakdown of when I had a mentor. So when I had a mentor, it was a lot more than this. So I'm gonna give you the breakdown of the commission so you have a visual on it. So I got my calculator out. I got $15,000 here of gross commission income. And uh, let's go ahead and break it down. So 64% and remember, 70-30 split, including a 6% royalty. So we went from 70 to 64. So now we're at 9,600, okay? Now we're gonna minus that by 350 for the transaction fee. And now we're gonna minus it by another 375 for a transaction coordinator. And then we're gonna minus it by 175 for your E&O insurance. 8,700 is what I end up with. So going from $15,000 in gross commission, I end up with $8,700. That's a no-go for me. Now, during the entire transaction, they are taking away from me $6,300. So seeing that, it was a huge red flag for me. And as I started to grow in the business, get more experience, deal with more clients, 
I began to think to myself that this is not going to be great for my future. This is not going to be great uh, for me as a realtor. It's not going to give me the flexibility I need to continue to advance my business, to push my business. Um, so I had to make a decision. Another huge problem I had is there's too many agents in the office. Now, that's actually kind of a funny one because most brokers will actually boast about that. They'll say, hey, we got a bunch of agents in this office. To me, that doesn't really mean a thing because the more agents you have, the less likely you're gonna be able to help me on time, which was another huge problem. When I first started, I don't feel like I got the help that I needed. And literally right after I signed, I literally said, now what? I didn't know what to do. So they said, go to the team meeting, I went, but I felt like I was offered no help. And I felt like I had to go and beg for my mentor and to go after that, which obviously I should, it's my business. But as a real estate company who's looking out for my success, I would guess that you would be after me and, and making sure that I'm getting the help I need to grow my business, which in turn would make them more money. But that didn't happen. Another thing on the financial side, the company cap, if you don't know what a cap is, when you first join a brokerage, they will give you a certain amount of money that you need to give them in commission. So let's say, for example, my breakdown is 70-30 with them. Uh, every 30% that keeps going to them, that goes towards your cap. So let's say I, in a transaction, I owe them $4,000. That's what their 30% is, is the $4,000. That $4,000 goes towards my cap. Now, the cap at my Keller Williams, and this is different for every KW, the cap at my Keller Williams was $22,000. And that is not including the extra $3,000 in the royalty fee. The royalty fee is completely different. So now it's really $25,000 of a company cap. That's a lot of money. $25,000 a year would be going to them. And that cap renews every, every anniversary you have. So once you finish a year, so let's say you join in November on November 15th. N November 15th of next year, your cap would restart. So $25,000 taken away every year is quite a lot of money, which is one of the biggest reasons of why I joined EXP. And now, this wasn't actually a reason for leaving because this was after I left, but the way I was treated after I left was, I was actually very surprised because I had no problem with the team throughout other than the problems I told you about. But the team wise, the people that were there, I had no problem with them. They're all great people. I still have a very good friendship and relationship with many of the people that were at my office. I mean, they're all great. But how I was treated after I left truly had me surprised because I was treated almost as if I was stupid for leaving. It was just a terrible conversation that happened. And right after that convo happened, I knew for a fact I wanted to leave KW. That was a very nerve wracking time when I was in my decision of leaving because I didn't know if it was the right move or not. After I had that conversation with um, my brokers and team leaders, uh, I knew for certain that I wanted to leave and that EXP would become my new home. Now these were some of my reasons of why I left Keller Williams. Uh, if you currently feel the same way and you're at KW, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what your experience is like. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, make sure to subscribe and subscribe to my weekly email. It's going to be down in the description below and I will see you all next week.